Many thanks for staying with us here on Newsdesk. Now let's talk about a very touching story this morning. And it has to do with the story of a 10-year-old girl who was hit by a stray bullet as police in Sotom pursued an armed robber there. Well, as of now, that very lady, I'm speaking of that 10-year-old girl, is partially paralyzed following that very incident. And uh, it's been difficult for the family of this young lady uh, to see her through the remaining surgeries that, that are needed to correct this anomaly. But let's first try and understand really circumstances leading to this very sad incident because we are told that uh, she was actually uh, close, close from school. She was on her way home from school uh, in the afternoon when this very sad incident happened. But I have here with me in studio uh, mother of this young lady and indeed the lady herself to uh, help us understand really what the situation is. And uh, Grace Ajiman is mother of this 10-year-old lady I just spoke to you about. And uh, she's here to tell us more about that situation. Uh, Madam Ajiman, good morning. Thank you very much for joining us. Mm -hmm. So can you first and foremost narrate to us how everything panned out? OK. My daughter was close from the school. Mm -hmm. And she was coming home. And there was a policeman chasing her robbers. And suddenly, you don't know what happened. But I was at home when uh, the teacher called me and said my daughter was shot by a gun. Mm. Okay. So I will rush to the hospital, 37 mm. hospital. Okay. So uh, since you're, you're, you're telling me about what happened at the time, let me maybe find out from the lady. You are 10 years. Uh, can you tell me what happened on the day? Your mother tells us that you were from from uh, school to your house when something happened and then you were hit by a bullet. What happened? When a policeman was chasing an a robber. Then it was closing, so I was going home. Then a get man asked me to get inside, so I was getting inside. From there, I did not see anything again. So you're saying uh, you were asked to enter a particular building as they chased this, uh, this armed robber? Yes. So at what point did you hear the gunshots and what happened to you? How come you just, you just felt something hit you? What happened? I did not see. You didn't see anything? Okay. Well, uh, it's a challenge for her to speak kindly because uh, I'm told it's part of... Uh, uh, the deformity that she's currently suffering as a result of that incident. She's partially paralyzed following that incident. But uh, I still want to find out from you, Madam Grace Ajima. So you took her to the hospital for a surgery to be done after this. Uh, have you, for instance, contacted the police to, if for nothing at all, let them know that this is what has happened yes, to your daughter? Have. Okay. What have they been saying? They've not been saying anything. They've not been there to see how she is. Or how she's doing? Nothing. So, how did you pay for the surgery? Uh, my father. My father always come to the hospital, paying the bills, giving us fair money for feeding, everything. So, the policeman who shot this lady mistakenly is not. Is, is he even aware that uh, this is what he's yes, done? Yes, he's aware. He's aware. Yes. Okay, and he has also not done anything about it, no. and the police administration has also don't, not done anything about it. And there's a 10-year-old girl you are speaking of, yes. who is now partially paralyzed because of this act. Yes. And we do not know whether or not she'll be able to recover, unless, of course, once we have the needed funds to see through the remaining operations. Yes. Have you tried getting in touch with the police again? Let, let me, I don't know, unless, of course, maybe you were limiting it to uh, the police in Sotom. Have you, for instance, visited the headquarters, the police headquarters, to let them know the situation, your predicament? Yes, we have. My, my father go there every day, yeah, but they didn't do anything about it. What, what do they say exactly? And they say my father should wait for them. They are coming, they are coming. Every day they are coming, but they didn't know do anything about it. And uh, what, how, how long has this been? Mm, it's one month, one week. So she was shot sometime in say, May or June? In June. She was shot in June. In June. And up until now, nothing has been done about nothing, the situation? Nothing. nothing. Okay. 
Right. Uh, we are trying. Uh, we are trying to work the lines to get a response from the police as far as this issue is concerned. Whether or not there are processes involved as far as uh, uh, working on situations like these. Well, we do know that they try their very best to protect us, but in the dispatch of their duties, sometimes things do go wrong. It's a clear situation that has happened here. Uh, we want to know the processes that are involved, particularly to ensure that uh, justice is served to these people. And uh, this has to do with the life of a 10-year-old. A 10-year-old who is now partially paralyzed because of the action of one policeman. Though we might say that, well, it wasn't a deliberate act, uh, we still need some action to be done on the issue. Uh, if Okay, uh, we still do not have the police on the line, but we'll be bringing you some uh, more on this one. But, uh, Madam Ajman, thank you very much for your time. But let, let me first find out, how much do you need? How much more do you need in order to continue with this, this surgery, this process? Well, we need some more money. Can't mention it. But how, how much do they say you need when you went to the hospital? Uh, how much did you spend on this surgery, and how much do they say you need? You need to bring to correct uh, these the def uh, deficiencies. Oh, for now, the, we are we are here with the the receipts. Everything is here, mm. so we have to calculate them. For but them but to you don't know how much exactly. For instance, if you need to pay say two thousand Ghana cities um, or five thousand or a thousand. So that if, for instance, anybody just around say, is watching and wants just to help, say 10, about 10,000 CDs yes. to be able to uh, take, take care it through the, the remaining surgeries. Yes. Right. Well, for now, we have to go to the physiotherapy at 37, mm -hmm. but we don't have anything. Even you don't have money for dropping, that's why we are here. We don't have anything. And you have, you have to go there for the exercise. Mm -hmm. So, is that to suggest that since that incident, she's not even been able to go to school? No, 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 no. She's what, 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 what class is she in? Four. Class four. And she's been unable to go to school since this incident. Mm. And they should be writing exams by next month or so. Yes. So what's going to happen? Are you going to write the exams? Yes. How are you going to write the exams? You've not been to class. You've not studied with your friends. You don't know what's happening in school. How can you, how can you write the exams? Yes. You still write it? Yes. What if you fail? <laughs> Right. Okay. Uh, we'll, we'll try and uh, get some responses from the appropriate quarters, but that's the story of a 10-year-old who was shot at Sotum. Uh, well, she wasn't deliberately shot. That's the information we are getting. Uh, she was hit by a stray bullet as police pursued armed robbers in the area uh, about a month ago while she's been shot. Uh, her parents have managed to take her to the hospital for surgery that's so they've done the, the first surgery but as things stand now she's partially paralyzed because of that very incident the police uh, have so far not done anything about the situation we're bringing you more on this in subsequent bulletins but let's now head to parliament where the proposed amendment to the constitution to enable the holding of the general elections in november appears to be in danger as joining us is learning members of the legal parliamentary and constitutional committee are divided over the issue a report of the committee will determine Parliament's response to the proposal on the floor. Now, but some members are said to be unconvinced the EC can meet all the constitutional requirements necessary after the amendment to have the change effected in view of the limited time to the election. Now, the committee has been engaging officials of the EC in a closed door session on its readiness for the change. Deputy ranking member on the committee, Ben Abdallah, says there's still more to be done by the Electoral Commission 